Hi, this is Kevin Woodbury for Twin Suns Tutorials. Today I want to show you how to use manual exposure control. Um, it's important if you want to get into creative photography to be able to control both your depth of field and your shutter speed. Um, but truthfully, the starting place for any photograph, regardless of whether it's manual or otherwise, is deciding what's important to you uh, for a given scene. Do you want control over the aperture, which gives you control over depth of field? Or do you want control over the shutter speed, which gives you uh, control over how motion will appear on film? Um, so in this particular case, I want to be able to control my aperture. And I'm taking a picture of a doorknob. Um, not very exciting. But I want to set my exposure so that I have an aperture of 2.8. So I'm going to change my aperture to 2.8. Now notice that my marker beneath the scale um, is now under the 2 on the right side of that center mark. Now anything to the right of that center mark is overexposed. Anything to the left is underexposed. So in this particular case, if I shot this, I'm going to be two f-stops over um, the normal exposure. So to change that, um, and let's presume I want to stay at 2.8, I have to now change my shutter speed and bring that back to zero on the meter. Okay, that's properly exposed. Now if I take a picture, You'll notice that I have shallow depth of field. The uh, doorknob is somewhat in focus, but everything around it is not. But let's say I'm not really happy with that. I actually want more depth of field. So I can say I'm going to go and change my f-stop to 11. And notice as I do that marker moves down towards the underexposed side of the scale. And in order to get a properly exposed image, now I have to take my shutter speed uh, control and turn it so that I go back to zero. And now I'm properly exposed again. I take the picture and now everything's sharp and clear. So the process of manually controlling exposure is nothing more than picking a number, whether it be your shutter speed or your aperture, um, in this case, I, I chose shutter, uh, the aperture and using the opposite control, in this case shutter speed, to zero out that meter. It's as simple as that. Now, it sounds simple, but you do have to think because when I shot the first picture at 2.8, I thought I wanted a shallow depth of field so the doorknob alone was in focus. But when I saw it, I decided that I wanted everything in focus, so I went up to f11. So you do have to consciously decide what you're doing. When you've taken the shot, you have to look at it and say, is that truly what I wanted? And make adjustments if you need to, uh, to get what you actually want. So I hope this makes sense. I'm going to follow this up with the worksheet version. Um, the worksheet is what I handed out at last week's meeting. And I want to show you how, if I had done a meter reading, um, how I would do it via the worksheet to decide what the right exposure would be at F11. So this is Kevin Woodbury signing off for the moment. I'll be back in a moment.